एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान न्यूज रेड बाय दमन जमान the headlines the federal cabinet with the prime minister and the chair in Islamabad today discussed the overall political and economic situation of the country addressing a news conference in Islamabad today the foreign minister categorically rejected the demands of the alliance of the opposition parties terming them undemocratic and unconstitutional Pakistan and China at the virtual meeting of the Joint Working Group on Industrial Cooperation under CPAC have agreed to continue consultations for signing the framework agreement at the earliest. In an interview to Sussi Security Review today, the president said Indian belligerence poses a threat to regional peace and stability. Senior Hurriyat leader has called upon the international community to facilitate a sustained dialogue process between Pakistan and India to resolve the internationally accepted Kashmir dispute <music> Palestinian foreign minister informed an online meeting for the ICC member states that Palestinians are suffering from Israel's illegal occupation for more than 70 years awaiting justice <music> and uh, the news in detail a meeting of the federal cabinet with the prime minister imran khan in the chair was held in istanbul today the meeting discussed the overall political and economic situation of the country the foreign minister shamim mud qureshi has categorically rejected the demands of the alliance of the opposition parties terming them undemocratic and unconstitutional addressing a news conference in Islamabad today he said the country cannot be run on the whims of somebody he emphatically stated that prime minister imran khan will not step down and that the assembly is not to be dissolved the foreign minister said the present government enjoys the mandate of the people as it secured millions of votes in the 2018 general elections Shah Mehmood Qureshi who is also the vice chairman of the Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf said we are ready for talks on electoral reforms inflation and provincial autonomy and the NFC award Shah Mehmood Qureshi said there is no consensus amongst the Pakistan Democratic Movement over the issue of resignations from the assemblies and the long march responding to a question the foreign minister said pakistan and saudi arabia enjoy excellent relations he said the kingdom supported pakistan in difficult times and extended balance of payment support of 3 billion dollars the foreign minister also recalled that the saudi foreign minister during the recent meeting of the oic openly supported pakistan's stance on the kashmir dispute The foreign minister said he is visiting Abu Dhabi and will hold talks with the United Arab Emirates counterpart on Thursday. The Speaker of National Assembly Asad Qasir says the government is fully committed to generate an educated workforce, build empathy and tolerance and rapidly improve Pakistan's position in the global market. addressing the international virtual conference on Pakistan United Kingdom education gateway through video link in Islamabad today he said 150 million young people are Pakistan's greatest asset and utilizing this potential appropriately will help achieve socio economic development of the country the speaker national assembly said a substantial amount of 160 million rupees has been allocated as an investment in our youth's development through knowledge economy the first meeting of the joint working group on industrial cooperation under the china pakistan economic corridor was virtually held today executive director general board of investment Khashiyur Rahman who co-chaired the meeting said the framework agreement on CPAC industrial cooperation will create new avenues of cooperation the chinese side appreciated the efforts undertaken by pakistan for industrial cooperation between the two countries the two sides in the working group agreed to continue consultations for signing of the framework agreement at the earliest 
Japan will provide a grant of 1.54 billion rupees to Pakistan to help it fight the COVID-19 pandemic. An agreement to this effect was signed in Islamabad today in the presence of the Japanese ambassador to Pakistan, Kuninori Matsuda, and Secretary of Economic Affairs, Noor Ahmad. Speaking on the occasion, the Japanese ambassador lauded Pakistan's effective strategy against the pandemic. This is Radio Pakistan. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has said the Indian belligerence poses a threat to regional peace and stability. In an interview to the South Asian Strategic Stability Institute Security Review today, he said New Delhi is committing human rights violations in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. He said Pakistan will continue its support to the oppressed Kashmiri people in the just struggle for inalienable right to self-determination. He urged the international community, including the United Nations Security Council, to play its due role in resolving the lingering issue of Kashmir according to the aspirations of the Kashmiris. Replying to a question on China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, he said this is a project of development and prosperity for the region and Islamabad will not allow anyone to sabotage this mega-initiative. The President said New Delhi is trying to disrupt this game-changer project through its nefarious designs using different tactics. He said the international heritage sites and Muslim culture, history and human rights are under attack in India as the Bharatiya Janata Party-led Modi regime is promoting Hindutva policy. In the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, senior Hurriyat leader Professor Abdul Ghani Bhatt has reiterated Kashmiri's pledge to continue their just struggle till they achieve their inalienable right to self-determination. Talking to the people in Sirinagar, he called upon the international community to facilitate a sustained dialogue process between Pakistan and India to resolve the internationally recognized Kashmir dispute. Meanwhile, an analytical report released by the Kashmir Media Service today said the Modi-led fascist Indian government is implicating Hurriyat leaders and activists in fake cases. The report maintained that over 13,000 Kashmiris have been put behind the bars since August 5, 2019, while 161,163 were arrested over the past 30 years in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The All Parties Hurit Conference leader Mir Shahid Salim addressing a protest rally organized by the various social and human rights organizations in Jammu said the Modi government has unleashed a war against the Kashmiris and the minorities. Meanwhile, the Modi government has forced dwellers to stay indoors and shopkeepers to shut down their businesses in the name of so-called District Development Council elections being staged in Islamabad, Anantnag and other parts of the territory tomorrow. In India, fresh ag agitation against the Controversial Citizenship Amendment Act, also known as Anti-Muslim Act, has been launched by 18 organizations in Assam demanding the repeal of the legislation and release of the jailed leaders. Protest rallies were taken out across the Indian state by the organizations besides students and youth organizations of ethnic communities. Meanwhile, protesting rallies were taken out in various Canadian cities, including Montreal and Toronto, in solidarity with the Indian farmers against the fascist Modi government's new laws. Moreover, in New Delhi, more than 5,000 nurses and paramedics have gone on an indefinite strike demanding a better salary structure and accommodation. Palestine has urged the International Criminal Court to fulfill its mandate, achieve accountability and equity for the Palestinian people to rid them of Israel's yoke. The Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki told an online meeting for the member states of the International Criminal Court that Palestinians are suffering from Israel's illegal occupation and crimes for more than 70 years awaiting for justice. Riyad al-Maliki stamped the American threats against the ICC, noting those threats aim to undermine the court and its independence. 
Kuwait has urged the Gulf Cooperation Council and all conflicting parties to end Gulf crisis for the restoration of relations back to normal in the region. Prime Minister Sheikh Sabah Khalid al Hamda Sabah said in a statement that Kuwait will use all its resources to reach a positive conclusion. Turkey and Iran have denounced the American sanctions against Turkey over the purchase of Russian-made S-400 missile defense system. Presidential spokesman Ibrahim Kalin said in a tweet that sanctions will not will only boost the country's determination to strengthen defense system under the leadership of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Joe Biden has said it is time to turn the page after his presidential election victory was confirmed by the U.S. Electoral College. In a speech after the announcement, he said American democracy had been pushed, tested and threatened and proved to be resilient, true and strong. And finally, the weather. Light rain with snowfall over the hills is expected at isolated places in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan during the next 12 hours. However, very cold weather conditions are expected in northern areas and north Balochistan. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.